Welcome back everybody to 1920 Gaming, this is FIFA 20, it's career mode and it's the manager's journey, we're here once again with Kilmarna, we're starting off today by building up to our second European night, it's against uh, FC Colbenhaven I believe, um, coming off the back of an episode which saw us make our European debut uh, proper, the group stage got underway in the Europa League. Uh, I'm not going to mention the results of those games just yet, in, just in case you haven't seen that last video. If you haven't, it is up on the channel now, it's definitely worth a watch. But um, yeah, this one's going to see us play our second European game. Uh, we also have games today against the likes of Aberdeen and Hearts. So yeah, it's like I said in the last episode, it is a uh, real important part of the season for us just at the moment. And hopefully we can continue to do well in it and have some uh, fun along the way. That of course can be helped by some good exciting football, lots of goals, uh, good performances, good wins. Uh, keeping us ticking along nicely. We have made a strong start at the beginning of this season. And we need to just keep that going for as long as we possibly can obviously. Um, for this game, the coming up against Carbon Harvin. You would have saw there, we have got hearts just a few days after. Um, so it's probably going to be fringe players in a lot of the positions today just to keep them happy. And hopefully they're good enough to keep us ticking along in this group phase. Um, there is implications, slight ones, um, for this Europa League run and things like that. Which will make a lot more um, sense if you saw the last episode. So again, if you haven't. Um, it's worth going and checking that now, but if you don't want to and you have seen it, obviously you'll know the chairman wants us to go quite deep in this competition. He didn't actually specify what deep actually meant, but I'm assuming probably round of 16, in quarterfinals maybe. Uh, I don't really know, but I am going to stick to what I said I wanted to do, and that is keep pressing on in the league, which means, like I say, there's going to be quite a few rotations probably yeah, for this game. For and the press conference is now done and dusted, so we will jump in and see what we are actually going to do uh, regarding this game. Um, it is up right now, so... Let's just wait for it here. For some reason, then, since this last update, there's delays in the menus now, even when you're playing offline, which is really, really strange, but it is what it is. Uh, we are going to play in the blue kit. We're going to let them play in their home kit as well. So if we just go to team management here, um, we are going to make a lot of rotations. These are not going to be players that are playing. This is probably the team that you'll see go up against Hearts. So, um, yeah, we're going to start at the back. We're going to put our Brazilian keeper in for a game. Um, Robinson did play the last European game, so we're going to play a Corre next to him today. We've got Walters going at left back. Millen comes in at right back. Tonali, uh, as ever, I'm thinking will probably keep his place, being the club captain as well. And the fact that he just seems to have the stamina to keep playing every single game at the moment. Uh, we've brought Friesel in, Lewis has gone in at Cam. Um, we're going to probably go with Campbell yeah, at left, uh, which means Cameron again will go up top. And Seydorf will probably get some well-deserved minutes. He's been brilliant every time we've used him so far. Um, so yeah, he probably will come in for Thomas. Um, or not like I said it has been a while since I've played and recorded uh, yeah, played these games sorry if I was doing it now Seidorf would have gone in so uh, at the moment it looks like that is what we're going to go with though um, without wasting no more time we're going to now go and jump ahead into the game again guys let me know if you do want to see the um build-ups to the game come back the lineups and this that, and the other i've stopped putting them in at the moment just because since the last update uh, everyone is called undefined for some reason and to me it just looks stupid but by all means if you want to see them like i said before just to see the formations and the systems that the other teams against us gonna be using then yeah, i will happily bring them back for you 
Um, but f just for the time being, until I get answers to those questions, then I'm just going to probably skip them. And we'll just jump straight into kickoffs. It does for me take something away from the match day experience, but like I said, it just looks so stupid at the moment just seeing everyone called undefined on both teams. And that could have been a really quick start for us there. Um, if Campbell had have found that pass, uh, we would have been in. Uh, I am expecting another tough game today because although we did get the win against Lille, they really did push us. And oh my life, we were nearly 1-0 down there. That was really, really lucky. But yeah, Lille pushed us quite hard. We did get the 3-2 win. Um, but we didn't play particularly well in that game. It was mainly counter-attack and I'm going to assume that's probably going to be what's needed today. Uh, we are away today as well. Um, so yeah, that's another thing to put into it. But we've really not made the greatest of starts here. That is a great save from the keeper though. Uh, he can't do nothing about that one and just like that we are 1-0 down and there's not even 15 minutes of the game gone yet. Obviously the crowd there, the whole crowd are really happy with that but Zekar it is that scores past us. Keeper made a good save there and then he gets no help really from the defence. Second shot comes in and there's no way he's saving that one. And uh, We're already 1-0 down in this one. Um, it has been a tough start for us. Uh, I was expecting a tough game here, uh, every Europa League game is going to be tough for us, um, especially why we are at a point where I am playing the fringe players, uh, the reserves and the subs uh, in their group phases. It just to me makes no sense not to do that, it would be nice to go further in this competition and obviously the chairman wants that as well. But um, it's for me it makes more sense to make sure we at least qualify for this again next season. And if I obviously would like the Champions League and a league win, uh, considering the start that we've made. But we've still got a long, long way to go um, to get anywhere near that yet. And so yeah, if we can just get into this again next season, that would be success for me. Obviously, we'll have to wait and see what the chairman would think of that. We need to get this away at the moment though. Uh, Carbon Harvin have really, really put us under the pump at the start of this game. We've just not been able to get going yet at all. And we got away with one again there. It was good defending to make it awkward for him. But yeah, we really need to pick our game up here at the moment. Just look at that Finley again with the mistake in a big game. Trying to play out from the back. Which I don't mind. But that pass was never, never on. And it has cost us. And we're now two down. And there's only just over t uh, 20 minutes gone. All of this came from Finley's bad pass. It's Michael Santos this time. And we've got a lot, a lot of work to do now. Um, I'm already considering, do we try and change up formation or something here? Uh, like I said, just before that went in, we've been really put under the pump by these. Uh, we've had hardly any of the ball, um, even less of it in attacking areas. And yeah, we've just got to get going here at the moment. This has been really, really tough for us. Uh, Friesel's got it now. Cameron uh, just pushed off the ball really, really easily. We do get it back in a good area here though. Can we do something with this? Lewis gets it to Campbell. Back to Lewis. He's turned nicely there actually, uh, goes for the pass instead of the shot and it's cut out. Um, we've nearly half an hour gone, um, we have been really really bad in this first half. And it's not looking like it's going to get any better at the moment, we're just holding in and hoping at the moment that we can just go in at 2-0 down because um, Carbonhaven are not letting off at all and just as I say that, it is now 3-0, three, three different scorers and Doy this time and they are pretty much now I would say out of sight already. We're going to have to have some kind of monumental second half to pull this back and I just can't see it the way we started. Nice volley that one. Uh, keeper again, no chance. Uh, he could volley that anywhere. Uh, he could have gone either side of the keeper. So yeah, keeper's not at fault there. And the whole team is just having a really, really bad time of it in this first half. It is really not the way to begin an episode, is it? Um, 
we're just getting shown up. They've been better than us in every single position on the pitch so far. Um, we've not troubled them at all. We've not made it difficult for them. This has probably been one of the worst performances since I've been here. There just seems to be a lack of energy, lack of fight. Uh, they could have been in again there with a clip ball over the top. They decided not to go for it. Uh, this time we do manage to cut it out with Finley, but it's given straight back to them again, and it could easily be four here before the half. There was a pass on there. This one's an even better one on the keeper has saved us again. Uh, even though three goals have gone in, the keeper has been by far and away the best player on our side at the moment, and I think he might have just made another save there. And again. It's 3-0, but Colvin Harvin are not letting up at all. We have literally just been absolutely battered for this entire first half. They're full value for the 3-0. Um, we don't deserve... It could have been more. We don't deserve anything out of this first half at all. We've just been able to get nowhere near them at all. Cameron's not been in the game, and when he has, that has been the kind of contribution that he's made. Uh, I did select him over Campbell up top today because he was really good with his back to the goal against Leo but that just don't seem to have worked today at all and look at this ball movement they're playing with so much confidence at the minute and for a better shot there uh, that could have been four as well uh, we just need half time we need to regroup um, we've got to come up with something different in this second half. We've got in behind here with Campbell, but he's got no support at all at the minute. It's arriving slowly now. Can Millen do? He tried to take the touch instead of shoot. And yeah, uh, the less said about that half, the better. Um, let's just put it behind us, try to win the second half as best we can. Uh, I'm reluctant because this game, I feel, is probably passed us by now to make any changes uh, pretty much just because we've got a game coming up in a few days time uh, which to me is more important it's a league game so yeah uh, we just got to do what we can do in this one try and win this second half um, probably keeping a clean sheet as well would be good in this half if we can get off to a quick start and just put some belief back into the team and myself, um, that would be great. But, um, yeah, this is not looking good. Uh, oh, man, he's beat him as well. It's a good block in the end from Finley, making up for that mistake in the first half. Ball into Cameron's feet again. And as soon as we play that pass, the defender is right on him and he's just not strong enough today to hold the defenders off. Uh, which he was doing somewhat with ease against Leo. He's just not been able to do it today. Lewis can get him through now. He did point and want it. He's got to be strong enough here. He's got there, but again, he's just shoved off it and they bring it and boot it clear again. And we just passed the hour mark now. Uh, I did decide to make some changes. We've got Seidorf on now. Cameron's come off. Campbell's gone up top. Um, Thomas has come out to the left hand side. Um, I'm hoping that Seidorf can do what he's been doing so far. And just give us a lift when he's come on. Uh, he could be in here. But again, ball's not great. Uh, I don't want to bring any other players on just because like I said the league game that's coming up but uh, I want us to get something out of this game and even if we could score now or in the next five minutes maybe there'd be an outside shot of doing maybe a point in this game but we've got to change the momentum of it somehow and I'm hoping that Seidorf's introduction can do that and he's in here uh, he's got all the time in the world he slowed himself right down there, showing the confidence that he's playing with at the moment. And he has had the desired effect. Uh, at the moment, this guy, every time he comes on, he's doing something. He's been brilliant for us since he's came in. And that is now 3-1. And maybe, just maybe, we can do something now. We do need another quick goal um to realistically do anything again maybe within the next five minutes or something like that 
um, but we don't need to concede that is a decent block and we get away with one there we are going to have to take more risk now though and we've given that one away with Thomas again it's given away in a bad area as well and again this slick ball movement they've had it all game uh, we're still trying to play out from the back there it's really not wise look how many they've got forward and it's a decent save from the keeper we need to get this ball up the pitch quickly though Walters has received it from the keeper he's played it inside to power inside again to Friesel uh, Tonali plays the forward pass uh, plays it well as well uh, there's a 1-2 attempt there between Campbell and Seidorf. Unfortunately, it just didn't come off. Otherwise, we might have got um, Campbell in behind. Uh, just like there in behind now, Oviedo here. He's got time. He's picked his man, and that is game over. 4-1. It's been an absolute humbling today. The amount of time and space that Oviedo had there, and I believe it was Andoy that he picked out, and that's another volley for that man. And yeah, that is us out of this game altogether now. We just need to see it out to the end, uh, move on to the next one as quickly as possible. And that is exactly what we do. It does end 4-1. I'm not going to lie, it could have been 5 or 6. They did have another good couple of chances, Carbon Haven, even after going 4-1 up. Um, we were terrible, there's no other way of saying it, we were absolutely terrible. There's no fight, no desire, no energy, we were really, really flat today. But we can't take anything away from Colburn Haven, uh, they played really, really well. Even though it was our fringe and reserve team, uh, I was expecting a lot more out of them than that. It is really disappointing, but it's done now and we move on towards the next one. And the next one, guys, is Hearts. Um, I believe we're at home today, um, so I'm expecting good things. Um, this place, this ground is absolutely amazing. It's been brilliant for us. I love the way that it looks. Um, we perform really well here. I still believe that no one has yet to beat us here in any competition. So, um, yeah, it's been a real fortress for us. Uh, Messino, we're going to have to be really careful with him today. He's a bit of a pain in the backside. Um, but, yeah, I'm hoping that we can bounce back today. We are actually the joint top scoring team with Rangers. That's nice to know uh, in the league. Yeah, but I'm hoping for a big, big response today from the first team. Um, we need it after that performance against Colburn Haven. Uh, everyone needs a lift again. It was an absolutely terrible, terrible performance from us. And yeah, we just need better today, basically. Back to business as usual. And we need a good, solid win. I'd like a clean sheet, um, whether we can get one or not. We're still not picking up many of those at the moment, to be fair. Um, so it'd be really nice to get one of them today. Uh, we are obviously lining up with our first team, but because of this stupid thing that's going on at the moment, um, you can't see that with the name. So, again, we're going to skip it. Um, it's obviously not been fixed, so we just carry on. Um, we need lots more energy, quicker ball movement today. Uh, we need to create a lot more. Uh, we need to just get back on what we've been doing. It's been working really well, and yeah, we just want to bang a few goals in today, get that confidence throwing back through everyone. Uh, we could get off to a really quick start here, because Hazard is in. It's a nice turn back as well. He was looking for a run, but there wasn't one May Can Tonali smash one? He can't, he went for the pass. And yeah, the ball does get recycled though, so we've got him on the rack already, which is exactly what we want. Uh, just uh, being at home as well we want to put our oh that is beautiful oh it is a quick start as well that is more like it and it is that man side off again uh, against his old club uh, we didn't give up when the chance the first initial chance was gone we recycled the ball and into his back heel there absolutely brilliant side off's not going to miss he's in a real rich vein of form He's just absolutely smashed that one into the side netting. And that is a brilliant, brilliant start. Exactly what we needed uh, after what's just happened in Colburn Haven. 
uh, back in front of our own fans today um, and that back heel, that kind of flair is exactly the way that I love this game to be played and we've had capitalised on it as well with a goal so yeah, happy, no complaints in the first 10 minutes we've been really really good I was going to say being at home we want to stamp our authority on the game quickly we've done that we just got to get rid of this now, get back on the ball there we go and yeah, just get it moving again, exactly like the keeper's just done there. That's exactly what I want today. On didn't want Sadov to run straight into his man though. Um, hopefully that's not going to cost us here. Akore was strong there, much better than he was in Colbenhaven. Yearwood's got the legs to just run him there, but unfortunately we couldn't get the ball through. And I've just noticed that Celtic have just gone 1-0 up against Rangers which is good but we need to handle our own business here at the moment and we do that and we just bring the ball away again and we've had the ball for a little spell now in the half the final third as you can see here we've just been moving it and moving it and moving it just looking for a chance to do something there might be one here for Ince he's put it just wide oh that was close um, but we are playing really really well at the moment really unfortunate that it was a bit of a heavy touch just before he hit it um, but yeah Ince is playing really well again he's dictating things again and yeah I do love having him in that position he's playing really really well this season and we were unfortunate there not to be 2-0 up but we are doing exactly what I wanted us to do we're playing really well we're creating chances and we're winning at the moment as well with the clean sheet that I mentioned before the game. Uh, we're not looking really in any danger of losing that in this half at the moment. With uh, Yearwood and Tonali in midfield. That is a really good partnership because um, Tonali's strength and the way he wins the ball back in his passing is really good. But that mixed with um, the work rates of Yearwood and his athleticism. Oh, well done, because we're 2-0 up now. It's Parrot this time. He's rifled that into the corner. And just before the half an hour mark, we've gone 2 up. And we're on easy street at the moment in this game now. Uh, absolutely brilliant. The fans are bouncing, which is nice to see after that midweek game. But today, uh, there's no stopping us today. Uh, Parrot actually showed really good strength there to get that shot away. He was being nudged, but it didn't put him off. Uh, he still found the corner. And Hearts have got a big, big task ahead of them now, the way that we're playing at the moment. And is that not? Yes, that is a free kick. Yeah, but what I was saying was um, with Tonali, with his strength and his passing, mixed with Yearwood's work rates and athleticism uh, with his box-to-box -box play, they are actually complementing each other really well at the moment, uh, which is good to see. There could be another goal on here, but unfortunately not. Uh, but we are absolutely in the driving seat and dominating this game just at the moment. And we've carried that through all the way through the game. As you can see here, this has been what has been happening um, for the entire second half. Um, hearts have been a lot more difficult to break down it seems like they've dropped their block a little bit deeper and they're a little bit closer together and we've just not found the room we were finding in the first half but obviously that's come at a cost of them when they get the ball back they're having to work out from a lot deeper and we've not been letting them do that so yeah, this has been a really, really good performance from us uh, it's been really professional uh, it's been a great home performance We've had a few shots, but um, nothing really uh, to write home about in this half. But we have completely, completely dominated the game from start to finish, really. Exactly the kind of response that I was looking for um, after the midweek game. We've got Seidorf in here now, but I don't think he's not. He's just not got the legs left to carry that on. It was a good ball, though. And again, we've recycled it again just past the halfway line, which is what we've been doing for this entire game. There's only two more minutes now for Hearts to endure. Um, but after this game, very, very different from our midweek game. I'm looking forward to the next one, if we can keep this kind of form up. Um, I was a bit worried that midweek game might have a bit of an effect on us, but it hasn't. It fell nicely really that we had a home game to follow that one. The fans go away happy again. 
and yeah, after getting humbled in midweek, we come to our weekend game, and we've played them off the park, there's no other way to describe it, uh, we've literally been absolutely brilliant in every position, everyone's played well, at least a 7 or an 8 out of 10 across the board I would say, and there you go, just a nice little confirmation of the score, and a nice look at our beautiful stadium. And yeah, that's a really, really good performance. Well happy with that one. And to finish off the episode, we're going to be going away to St Mirren. Uh, hopefully we can continue what we've just done. It is an away game, but uh, I think we've got more than enough now to beat St Mirren. Uh, I was quietly confident against them in all of the entire first season. And we've definitely, you just look at the league table there, uh, shown an improvement this season on last one. And I would be very, very disappointed uh, if we don't manage to beat St Mirren today, even though it is an away game. Uh, it looks like Celtic did go ahead and beat Rangers uh, last time out as well. So that gives us a bit more breathing room to Rangers. Uh, we're still, for the start that we've made this season, uh, the only thing that separates us and Celtic is the three points that we took away from them ourselves. So it has been another stellar start from them as well. Um, but I can't ask for any more than what we've been doing this season. Uh, we're still conceding more goals than the old firm sides, but... Um, it's a lot, lot closer than it was before uh, in the first season, so we've definitely improved at the back. And a lot to do with that is the way that we are able now to control the ball and the stuff in midfield, uh, the possession, that's the word I was after, in midfield. Unfortunately for Warsaw, they're slipping again. I thought they might do a lot better in the Championship than they did in the Premier League, but unfortunately that's not to be. I am from time to time going to keep checking up on Warsaw. Um, it's my old club. I just want to know how they're doing. So, yeah. From now, uh, every now and again, we will check up and just see how they're getting on. But it's been a torrid two years for them. Um... They've won what one or two games in two seasons. It's not great, and we got the press asking us about Finley today. Um, even though he's got a crucial squad role, which really bothers me, um, I I don't still trust him above a Corey and Robinson. Not a chance. So. Will he start today? Well, maybe, maybe, just because I would expect us, even if we put the fringe side out today, to go and beat St Mirren, but uh, I'm not too sure yet. I don't want to say he's going to play, because like, uh, as you guys know by now, um, it's been quite a while since I recorded this, so uh, it'd be tough to say whether I did put him in or not. And explaining that I did miss the second question there, so yeah. Um, oh, that's it. There is no more questions, so that will be the St Mirren press conference over. Uh, we now go and jump into the game, and I like again. I'll say it just the once more. I am expecting us to go out and get three points today. Um, it might not be because of being a away game. Uh, they, even though they're the home side, they probably will set up looking. They've not won yet this season, so they'll probably set up to try and frustrate us. So uh, yeah, it might not be a goal fest or anything like that, but I am expecting us nonetheless to come away with all of the points today. Um, we do just check the calendar there. Um, we have a European game next, but there's a big, big gap anyway between the European game and ours. It's Fenerbahce up next. And yeah, they've just managed to get the one point from the two games, which helps us really. Uh, it looks like they drawed with uh, Leo in the second game, so... We are still in a good position, actually, in Europe, which uh, should make the chairman happy. And in the next episode, as you can see, we've got Hearts again, as well as Aberdeen. Um, but yeah, that's the next episode. Let's finish this one. Let's finish it on a high with a good performance. And see what we can do against St. Mirren. Um, 
again, we know now that we've got a break between the uh, Fenerbahce game and this one, so maybe we do play Finley and that today just to get them some more game time because obviously his morale will take a hammering off the press if I don't pick him today. Parrot's not 100% fit for this one, so we're going to drop him and give Campbell a goal up front. Um, I wouldn't have thought that I would have made many more alterations for this game, being still a league one. Uh, it's just what I was actually thinking at the time that I played this, so I don't actually know. It looks like all we're doing at the moment is deciding who's going to go on the bench. And if I was doing it now, I would leave Wilson on the bench because uh, this guy here, this Spanish midfielder that we've picked up, he'll probably play in the Fenerbahce game. So, uh, yeah, I would have left Wilson on the bench today if I was doing it right now. But uh, it doesn't look like that I did that there. So let's see the end of this episode out now, guys. On a high, like I said, let's go and collect this win. And... Let's finish strongly. And we are away. The game is up and kicked off now. Um, it looks like it might be one that was under the lights. And St Mirren here coming straight at us out of the gates. Wasn't expecting this at all. But can they actually do anything with it? They're playing it back. They've played it around into a nice little area for themselves there. But we do get the interception in. We come away with the ball. And with them not winning, these are the kind of games that you would love to go and get an early goal and just dash whatever confidence that they come into the game with. Will we manage to do that? Well, who knows. Um, it's another one where we can go and stamp our authority on the game, even though we are on a way side. Just purely on confidence and form, we should be able to do that. That's a nice little ball out to the left there. Uh, we've beaten their full back. Uh, Yearwood does eventually make a supporting run, but we have got to go back to Tonali. Again, just as I thought that they would do, it looks like they am going to set up with the low block. Um, we've got four or five players there inside of their own penalty area. But that is going to make it tough for them to get out, so uh, don't actually mind that at all. And Campbell there uh, nearly does get us off to that flying start. It wasn't to be though, good save from the keeper and with the fact that they are play playing such a low block, uh, any rebounds or anything, well they are going to be the favourites probably to pick them up. Uh, but all we've got to do if we can't get an early goal is just not let them be in the game, uh, stay patient and we will, if they're just going to come and defend, get one eventually you would have thought. And we are just over the half an hour mark now. We're still trying to get this goal. It's been a real pain to try and get in behind these. But we might do it here. We have done it here. It's 1-0 now. It's Campbell with a tap in. It was a counter attack. Um, for once they did put men forward. They got caught out. We've uh, just played a nice little ball through. And really uh, Campbell couldn't miss. It was just whether the ball would avoid the keeper. Keeper didn't come this time, and we are now 1 0. Nice from Campbell, that's his second of the season. Uh, we have to keep in mind that he's not playing up front all the time, so uh, we have to cut him a little bit of slack in his stats. Um, but yeah, that is his second. It's an important goal in this game because hopefully that's now what breaks this game open. Great little tackle there from the left back. Uh, he's played it to Hazard, he's carried his run on as well. Hazard has found him, Campbell's broke through again in the centre but chose not to use him. Uh, I don't know what that was, I'm not going to lie. Um, it was a wasted opportunity, that was one thing that it was. And it might just let them in here now but uh, the keeper's got that covered all day long. Just rolls it back out to O'Donnell and see for now if we can just carry this lead through to the half. And we've done exactly that. Uh, it's still 1-0. Just kicking off the second half here. Uh, we've been in complete and utter control of this game. And this game is, guys, remember the last one of the episode. Um, so I do again I really appreciate the fact that you're all here. Uh, it means a hell of a lot to me. And I just want to thank you for that as we actually go 2-0 up now. Uh, I didn't see a shot even coming from there. But it did. It's that man ins again. Player of the season so far. I know we're early. Um, but if he keeps this up. I can't see anyone else taking it from him. 
It's a nice little ball across. He gets it back. I really didn't see a shot coming from there, but there was one. And it found the back of the net as well. And we have now just took the points for my money in this game. And all we've got to do now is just keep our concentration. Be nice to keep another clean sheet. We did actually manage to get one against Hearts, incidentally. So it'd be nice to get back to back uh, clean sheets. That's not something that we do very often. Ince has done brilliantly there. And the back heel as well. He's just. Uh, Ince is having a great time this season. Uh, he's, do he's actually done well to just stop and keep the ball there. It was the sensible move. Um, but yeah, yeah, um, we're doing really well. We, if we can keep back-to-back -back clean sheets, that would help us going forward. And we just uh, enjoy the rest of this game now. See if we can add any more goals to it. Oh, that's great play to get uh, Campbell in again here. And it's three. We've scored and scored again, just like we used to at Warsaw. Killed this game, stone dead now. There's not an ounce of doubt that we've got the points now. And this could turn into be anything at the moment. We're absolutely on fire. It's a nice sharp ball into the middle. Campbell does well to control it actually. There was a lot of pace on it. And that is now game set and match. And we're going to the subs bench probably for that reason. We can get some players some game time that might not play all the time. We do settle for just the one change at the moment though. Our young Spanish midfielder's coming on for Yearwood. Who does deserve a rest. And it does free up options if we can do that then. Uh, for the Fenerbahce game in the next episode. Uh, Ince there takes the ball off them straight away from the restart. Any confidence that they had has been completely drained out of them now. Um, we could be in again already in RC Tonali on the edge of the box, but this time Ince couldn't turn back and get it to him. But uh, yeah, this is a big period in the game now for St Mirren. If they concede another one in the next 10-20 minutes, the floodgates could really, really open. And that's a nice little ball there inside. It's just easy possession for us now. Uh, they've definitely dropped further and further and further back. Uh, they don't want an absolute thrashing, as you can see there. Ints on the edge of the box again. He goes back for Tonali. No need to rush anything now. We're just having fun with the possession. Oh, that's a great little burst. And our young Spanish midfielder comes off the bench. Scores his first for the club. It was a brilliant little burst just to get past the defender. Uh, Morales, his name is, if I'm saying that right. Uh, there you can just see uh, Int plays it through. That first touch there takes the defender right out of the game. Puts it in with his left foot. And he's opened his account for Killy. And we're 4-0 up now. And like I just said, this could be absolutely anything now. We've got uh, 25 minutes left and it's already four uh, it could get real real bad for St Mirren here and it's not exactly what they need uh, they've not got any wins at all this season I'm not even sure if there's points on the board but uh, we could really hammer in a nice goal difference now Campbell's done brilliantly there and this time it's just wide uh, but again, it just goes to show, um, it's just up to us now how many we want to put in. And try as we might guys, as you can see there, we almost had another one. Um, the fifth just will not go in, and we have tried, we've battered the door down time and time again. Unfortunately, there's been no reward for it, but it has been entertaining for the fans in the ground. Um, the Cena's create, create and create and the Cena's dominate again away from home this time uh, but unfortunately there's been no further reward we're not going to be too upset about a 4-0 win away uh, we've done exactly what I wanted us to do today I said only 3 points would do and we've gone and got them and we've done it in style as well so again really really happy um, This oh we was lucky there though this is going to be the end of this episode guys it's been a really fun one. Well, it's ended fun. It didn't start fun, to be fair, but it's ended really fun. Uh, again, just to reiterate the point, I'm really, really enjoying this career and making these videos for you. Happy that you're here with me, uh, watching and supporting. It means a great deal. 
and I really haven't got much left to say except have a great rest of the day guys. I hope you're all well and I will see you all for the next one. Bye bye.